A few weeks ago, I did an unboxing on Meyer Mess Hall and I got a 90 centimeter scarf. It's my first one. So I've been experimenting on all the different types to wear it. I'm sure there are more, but today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 favorite ways to wear a 90 centimeter scarf. I also did purchase a scarf ring, which I thought I would wear a bit more than I have been, but I still, I don't regret it. I think it's still great to have, but I want to say only one or two of the ways that I'm going to show you is going to require this. So no biggie if you don't have one and your 90 centimeter scarf can be from anywhere. So let's get into it. Bear with me on uh, the layout. I just want to make sure that y'all can see all the little things that I'm doing. So I did put my hair up. And I also wanted to point out that I'm wearing my little Hermes ear cuff. I will say that every time I wear it, it feels like it's going to fall out of my ear. And I really hope it doesn't because that would just be money wasted. <laughs> but let's start. The first ways that we're going to go over is how to wear it as a top. I think I have four or five ways. The first is going to be the one that probably everyone knows, but we're still going to do it. So you're going to take it into a triangle. Mine is dual sided, so I get to pick the colorway and this one's just more fun to me but if you don't have a dual side one then just doesn't matter so you're just gonna take it into a triangle and then you're gonna take it behind your back and you're just gonna tie it you're gonna tie it as tight as you possibly can because you don't want it to fall on you I think I knotted my shirt with it but this is what it's gonna look like Obviously, like you can fix it and make it even, but I'm just showing you for the sake of the video. If you want it a little shorter, then you can just kind of fold it over like so and make it shorter. And if you don't like that, if you don't like to see that like folding, then you would just, you could take it off and it would be easier. You could just fold it inside like that. So it's really just preference at that point, but that's one way. The next way I'm gonna show you is like, like a cow neck top. You're gonna get it like that. You're just gonna take it like a square and you're just gonna tie it the corners behind your head. Like that. Just at the very end so you have the most space to work with and it's just going to kind of droop down like so it can be like as long as a top as you want it or as short it's really just preference or depending on what pants you're wearing and you're gonna knot it again i don't have a lot of extra fabric so i feel like that's normal so you just kind of have to play around with it until you can get it to knot and then you can either shorten it or long or make it longer but this is how it would look open back Super cute, definitely not an everyday top, but if you're on vacation, on a beach, just a good way to turn your scarf into Hermes, like ready to wear, and a lot cheaper. Here's another way to wear it as a top. You're gonna get it into a triangle. You want it to be as even as possible, but I'm not really going for that since I'm just trying to do it quickly. And then you're gonna take the point of the triangle and you're gonna separate it and you're gonna tie it behind your head. You want to tie it as small as possible at the very end so you can have the most. I find that's what works best for me. And then you can take whichever side you want and just wrap it around. And then again, tie it on the back. I gave myself more room, I think, because I tied it a bit better. And then I did mine kind of tight, so don't do that or else you'll choke. But here's another way to wear it. And then again, you can make it as short as you want or as long. And I think this way is super cute too. It would probably look a lot better if you don't have dual. I don't mind it. I think it's a fun little fun detail. But if it's not double sided, then it'll just be the same. And now I'm going to show you my favorite way to wear it. I think this way is just the cutest. And let me show you. So you're gonna take a triangle again. You're gonna take the point. You're gonna take the point. And let me show you. So you're gonna go like, you're gonna knot it once, like so. And then you're gonna pull, pull, pull. 
and it's actually gonna go around your neck. So you're gonna take it around your neck and then big shocker, you're gonna knot it. And then you can loosen it as much as you need. And then you're gonna kind of fix it. Just take some good maneuvering sometimes. And then you're gonna take the two ends and again, you tie it. I really should have used like the mini hair ties, but it's fine. This is my favorite way to wear it. I think this is like, looks like a real top. It looks expensive in my opinion. Very cute. This is like my go-to way. If it's like hot outside and I don't know what to wear, obsessed. It's giving summer. Cute. Okay, that was it for tops. Now let's move on to other ways. So this next one is another one that I like to do. It's gonna be hard to show, but basically you're just gonna fold it down like halfway. Like that. And then you're gonna make the other one meet there and then you're gonna fold them so they go together. So let me do that. So then once they are all folded to each other, you're gonna fold it over once more so they connect kind of. And then it can really be as chunky or as skinny as you want. And then you'll put it over. And this is just gonna be like a simple knot. Okay, so you're only gonna work with one side. So you'll go behind. And then you'll pull it through. And then you just fix it like so. It's hard doing it on camera, so just bear with me. But essentially it'll look like that. And I think this is just a super cute way to pair on with any outfit, especially something just basic like this. In the fall, it would be really good too. You probably want it facing the other way, but anyways. Cute, cute. Another favorite way of mine to wear. If you follow our mess, then you know that they just came out with a new bag this year. And it's like a scarf bag with some leather detail as a strap. And it retails for, I can't remember if it's 25 or closer to 35. I mean, one of the two. Pretty steep. So I'm gonna show y'all how to wear it as a bag. So you're gonna take the corners and you're just gonna tie them together. Okay, so you're gonna knot all of your corners. I did mine pretty big because I want the bag to be pretty small. The bigger, the smaller the knot you do, the bigger the bag will be. So you just wanna be pretty generous with it and then take it like that. So it'll look like this. It'll just look like a really big mess. I actually want that to be the outside of it. And then you're gonna take your corners. Mine are a little uneven, but that's fine. And then you're gonna tie like that. And there's my little hand hole. And then you're gonna take this side and you're gonna do the same thing. Like so. I probably like that. And then you have a cute little bag. And then these are your armholes. So really the bag can be as big or small as you want. It's a little funky looking. And I just did it super fast. But I feel like it still gives the same vibe as the $3,000 one that Hermes has. And this was like, for the double sided, it's like seven, but for a normal one, it's like four or five. And honestly, it would fit quite a bit. I think it's cute. I will be wearing it like this. I needed to make this side shorter so it wouldn't look as funky, but this is what it would like truly look like. But whatever, you get the idea. I'm not mad about it. Okay, next up, I'm gonna use my scarf ring. So just something super simple. You can obviously use the scarf ring so many ways, but for those of you that don't have one, like you're not missing out. So I'm just gonna take it in a triangle again, and then I'm gonna kind of fold it over a couple times, and then I'm gonna throw it behind my back. So it's just kind of peeping a little bit. And then I don't want it super long. And then I'm gonna take the scarf ring and I'm gonna pull it through. And then 
you can just play around with it depending on how you want it to sit and it'll stay like that. I think the scarf ring is just super cute if you don't want to deal with knots and if knots maybe like give you a little anxiety because the knotting does take some maneuvering. I've really only learned the one, but also if you didn't want to do that knot, you would still fold it the same way and then you'd slip this on. And it's just another fun way to accessorize too. It's gold. It's cute. You can also wear it this way without a scarf ring and just leave it like that. Obviously a super basic way to wear it, but if you are new to scarves like I am, I find things like this helpful. Now we're gonna get into ways to wear it on your head. So you're gonna get it like just big like this and then you're gonna do the same thing. Fold it down halfway and then you're gonna pull this one up like that and then you're gonna fold them together. So let me do that. And it's gonna look like this. Really there's no right or wrong way of doing it. It's really just up to you. And then you're gonna take it you're gonna make sure it's pretty even like that. And then you're just gonna take it around your hand and you're gonna knot it in the center. Like that, it doesn't have to be like super even. So you're gonna take it around your head and you're just gonna knot it. You could do a bow if you want. You could do like that and then a little, I'm just gonna double knot it like that. And then you could fold it in if you wanted. I think that's cute. Whichever way just makes sense. Ah! I think that's cute to wear like this. I probably have my hair down and you obviously are gonna like have to maneuver it. I'm just trying to do it quickly to show you guys. And then you could also turn it around. You could also wear it on the underneath side like that. It probably looks super funky right now because my hair is just not cooperating and I'm just trying to do it quickly. But I would probably wear it like this with my head down and then it's just like a knot. I promise it looks a lot cuter. I'm just doing it really quickly and then you just kind of tuck that and make it look cute. But if you have time and you have time to maneuver it, then I think this is a great way to wear it. I'm just trying to work fast. Okay, now we're gonna do it as a head wrap. I think this is a super cute beachy look too or just like boho chic. So you're gonna take it in a triangle again and then you're just gonna throw it behind your head <laughs> and then you're gonna take it like that since it's bigger you just want to make sure you tie it pretty snug and then you just tie it depending on your head shape this could be an option this is probably not I mean, one of the ways that I would wear it but I think it is super cute with like a big pair of sunglasses if you're like out by the pool or if you're just having a bad hair day this last one I wasn't gonna show, but I'm throwing in because I think it is super cute, different way. I would probably never wear it, but after trying it, I think I might. So you're gonna do a triangle again and you're gonna take it and you're gonna wrap it around. And then you're gonna bring it forward and then you're gonna knot it again. And it's just, you know, a typical way to wear it especially in the winter with like a sweater I think I will be wearing it this way I think it's super cute also keep in mind that my scarf is very stiff so it looks I mean really plushy but if you have like a more lived-in scarf it'll pro it'll probably look a lot better but I think this is super cute I really like this I Definitely think with a sweater, it would probably look better than just like a random white t-shirt. <laughs> it looks kind of off with my arms exposed. I hope you enjoyed all the ways to wear a 90 centimeter scarf. Let me know if you end up wearing one of the ways that I showed. A scarf is very tricky, but after playing around with it, I'm a bit more comfortable. Who knew that you could wear a 90 centimeter scarf so many different ways? If you enjoyed it, let me know and I will see you in the next video. Bye.